Hello everybody, welcome to another night of Ark on the Switch. We are continuing our preparations to take on the Ark bosses. And uh, we have achieved a sort of uh, passable war rex. Now, the question is, what stat spread do we want on them? Because the current levels that we have allow for one of two spreads I've done. Uh, Calypso has been set to 45k HP with 650% melee. And then Cirrus is running the other stat spread, which is 40k HP, but 722% melee. Which do you prefer? I feel like higher melee is going to be very useful. We'll have to see how the bosses, the first boss, handles, which would be Broodmother Listrix. I mean, Broodmother is just easy no matter what thing well, you take. I'm, I'm more talking about how difficulty that we have current Arc World I, set on. Yeah. How that how that influences the levels of the bosses. And all the I mean, it's basically set to official. Well, it's a little of, bit higher. Official difficulty. Uh, well, a, a smidgen, but <coughs> I mean, like that's a fairly. I feel like that's a fairly good indicator. Like, if you remember what official was like, it was fairly fast. <laughs> but we also had souped up rexes like nothing else. So I am going to level the chomp master because he's going to be. Uh, the one I use for the caves. The ice cave is gonna be brutal. But we may as well try the water cave first, because the ice cave is just so freaking cold. We're gonna need free of curry and good le uh, fur and also otters. We're gonna need otters as well. And we have plenty of otters. Yeah, I bet we do. So yeah, look, it's a bad thing. Also, apparently otters can spawn in this little little pond here. <laughs> and they're just very rare. Because I found one accidentally chomping through it for fish. And I was like, huh. Rip otter. That doesn't, hurt. That doesn't look like a saber tooth. <laughs> okay, so the question is, how many basils do you think would be best to take in? See, I... So, fun fact, I've never successfully done this cave. All I remember was there being a lot of megalodons, a really pissed off Alpha Tuso, and a very, very mean Alpha Mosasaur. So, um, the good news is that the Cave of Lost Faith which is a really apt name for it, honestly. Uh, it has plenty of room to move around. The bad news is that it's very easy to attract a very deadly amount of attention. <laughs> well, I will say, I did take a peek in there before, and Saturn did not like it. There were a lot of megalodons. Yeah. All around like 300 plus level. Yep. That's it's, not to say he didn't kill them all. It's it's very brutal. It's this very was, of course, brutal. Before I leveled him up with higher melee damage and HP. So I am interested in seeing how he does with I mean, if you want we could try to do it with just like a female and a male. At first, that's what I figured. Definitely, and with then applied and then just test it to see how well we do with those two. Otherwise, and then I'm also add. trying to keep a couple on on standby as well, you know, because we can mm -hmm. always swap them out. Yeah, I mean, it's worth giving it a shot. I think our although a couple of them are definitely better than others, namely Jupiter, Neptune, and Saturn. Just remember, I don't have imprint bonus, so yes, regardless, we'll you're going to be. On Yes, I have we'll a baby boy, but he is going to take a while to grow, so we're not using the baby boy yeah, on this run. I haven't had much luck getting females from this. The only one we have is Terra, which was the original, and she's not going into battle. 
and Venus, which has the attack and um, the attack and HP, but not the stamina and weight, which isn't too big of a hit. Yeah, that's okay. Actually, she has the weight. And we don't have a Bestial Saddle, do we? A BP. They, they all, we don't have a good one, which I'm hoping we find at some point. I have not found one yet. But we have one? But just basic Basil Saddles. Oh, I'm here like, do we have a BP? No, <laughs> I said I haven't found one yet, but we have basic saddles. For them. Yeah, that's fine. So they're not going in blind. But, you yeah. Know. I mean, well, let's give it a shot. Do we have scuba tanks? Yes. I need something to keep warm as well. Recurve! 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 Where are you? Recurve! I had to use him briefly, so he might be on the other side. There he goes. Recurve, there you are. There you are, Recurve. What do you have? Oh, excellent. <laughs> More tools. Anything else on you? Uh -huh. Vol, come here. I'm here, Vol. Okay. Um. Uh, I do. I'm gonna just use this Tyranodon. I do need a saddle for it. Um, uh, here. There should be spare saddles probably in the um. I know I had an extra oh, one somewhere. Box. But you know me and organization, it's not quite there. Oh, here's an extra basal saddle. Um. Tyranodon. Nope, not in this box. Let me see. I might have one by the box in the bed that I usually use. Oh, Saturn's down by the lake. Okay. I don't remember who's where, I just remember leaving somebody somewhere. Yeah, I told you to mate Jupiter and Terra, which I'm assuming... Yes, I yes. did do that. Because those are the, the top line stats. Um... I was yeah. incorrect, I do not have an extra saddle, which is surprising, honestly. But that's okay, I can make one. Let me just drop through the ceiling here. Whee! I see they still haven't fixed smithy folders. Nintendo, if you could approve that hotfix anytime soon, that'd be great. Wink wink, Nintendo. Because <laughs> we all know how much Nintendo watches your videos. Wink wink. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I think I'd wither if I found out Nintendo was watching. You're on a first name basis. Oh yeah, sure. Totally. Uh, Tyranodon. What do I need for Tyranodon? So let's go back. Okay, that's a raptor saddle. It's RG Tyranodon. Fiber hide and kite. Easy enough. Got some hide. Not enough fiber in here, but I can grab some more. And I'll need some chitin. It's not enough There's chitin. Plenty of, There's plenty of chitin on the dimorph on the uh, dimetrodon outside. First one around the corner. It's kind of just where I dumped it all because I was like, well, I don't have anywhere else to put this. Here, hold <laughs> this. Oh, here's the extra Tyranodon saddle! <laughs> it was on I the day Metro John. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I have not held I have not had had this chitin for long, but I will protect it. This Tyranodon has like no levels. It's okay. I'll just have to take extra breaks. Alright, well, pick out whatever vessel you want me to use and I'll freaking take it. You know them better than I do. Oh, where am I going? 
Where are you? Huh? I'm uh, I'm by the uh, the storage room area place. Yes. I'm making sense tonight. I promise. Ah oh, yes, the storage room place. Oh, you got two so tentacles. Nice. Yeah, I went. I did a full lap ar around the ocean yesterday. I found a couple of nice things, including a fur chest food chest bee. So that's fantastic. And did you happen to find an alpha two so at all? Sat Saturn murdered anything and everything it faced. Okay. Just <laughs> wondering because uh, we need one alpha two so for. Uh, oh, for some reason, case. the Alpha Cusos that I, uh, that I killed didn't drop eyes. I have no idea why. They didn't drop, like, a bag either? No, I didn't see any. Oh. I am completely bewildered. <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah. Hi, squirrel! Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate you. Squirrel! Uh, but, uh... Alright, we got Alpha Carno... Alpha Megalodon, Alpha Mosa, which is nice. Alpha Raptor. We do need Alpha Rex. We have those. Those have not spawned yet. So. That's actually quite surprising, honestly. <laughs> it might come down to the fact where it's like, oh, I guess I'll have to spawn one in using this admin command. <laughs> because yeah, I maybe. Think that's a known, I think that's a known bug where certain alphas just aren't spawning. Oh, that'll suck. Because like, Cause I, I can't Rex use the console late. right now, so... Yeah, until Whoops. they get that patch go through. It's like, certain alphas just haven't spawned. Specifically the Rex. I think the Rex is the only alpha <laughs> like we're the missing. Only one. <laughs> oh, no, we're missing Alpha Tuso as well. So that would be two out Even of... Even though I killed two of them. Two out of six? I think it's only six alpha trophies on the island. Alpha Rex, Alpha Raptor, Alpha Cardinal, Alpha Mosa, Alpha Megalodon, Alpha Tusa, Alpha Lead! We're missing Alpha Lead! Oh, was I supposed to kill? I think... Were there Alpha Leads? I'm pretty sure! Or are sure. they all Alphas? Let me see who... I'll see. We, we can see if... I, I saw multiple of them, but I wasn't entirely sure if they were... No, there is Alpha Lead Sixes. Sisses. Blech, however you say it. But there are alpha leads. There are, oh. We need alpha lead blubber. Fun fact, if you go up to an alpha lead, you can just scrape them for some prime fish. You got some of that? I'm not even kidding, you can do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. It's just like you got some of that. <laughs> Don't mind me Arby. while I fillet a living being for some fresh Arby, fish. We have the meat. I mean, I guess I can just go underwater with the scuba tank and some health potions. I don't have anything, by the way. Remember, I lost it all in the yeah, I got you. The lava cave. Appar uh, apparently, there's a Pokemon in Paldea region that's kind of like that, where you can just like it just like sheds excess meat or something. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, Velutza. <laughs> yeah, it's in Velutza. It's just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just cuts its own, it fillets itself to go faster, which is some yeah, real dedication, I gotta say. Yeah, just, just take whatever, uh, get some, well, we probably don't need water, but get some food, definitely. Yeah, I don't need water. And everything you should need is <laughs> surrounded on, by water. Everything you should need is on the, uh, Pteranodon. Yay! Oh, nice. We got yeah. veggie cakes. Sure would be nice to find an Ovis. I found a total of two Ovis in oh, my entire oh, time. Oh, 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 oh! What? 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 Wait, is it in this? One? What? What? Where is it? I, I found something else for. You. Uh. Okay. Is it deadly? It, it it is deadly. I'm not entirely sure where it is. <laughs> what is? Ooh. Oh yeah, it's losing track of the deadly object. Totally Ooh. not a problem. Where, where'd it go? <laughs> I swore, I could have sworn I put it in here. I found an ascendant crossbow for you. 
I don't know where it is. Sad. <laughs> I swear it existed. You know me and my crossbows. <laughs> oh well. It existed at some point. That's all we know. I swear. Alright, scuba gear, cool. <laughs> Night vision goggles, of course. <laughs> Just in case you get lonely. Slap that on so you can see your friends. Hopefully I don't flashbang them in the process. Like when I stared at the s <laughs> Alright, we going? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Discord don't like my high-pitched voices. And neither All does right. my actual... Uh, mic, I think. I think my voice is just at that oh, certain shoot. level. Ooh, uh, okay. Saturn, come here. <laughs> I need you. Oh, That's are right. these leveled? What? The vessels that I have? All, yes. Um, okay. All further uh, stats, I would say, put it into melee. Okay. They probably have a couple of levels because they've been in the cryo. Yeah, that's fine. But they should have all 50,000... Uh, I'm just making eight. sure we don't end up with another direwolf situation. <laughs> yeah, they should have about, like, 50k HP and around 800 melee damage, but Saturn... Yeah, that, that should be plenty, has, man. Yeah, let's go. Saturn has 1k now, so actually 11k. 11k. Or, I want to know what that number I'm looks sorry. like. I'm sorry, 1100. <laughs> be pretty chunk. And That'd I want to see a pretty beefy bite. Because it has double the melee damage it had the first time I was there. Remember, I'm flying on like 600 stam, so I'll probably need to rest quicker than you. I'm at 900 here, so it's all good. Rip Xerox. He did his best. The Rex sure didn't. <laughs> So the story with our, our Terras from the last time we saw, I tamed a Giga, but unfortunately... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know you lost yours no, to I'm, the Giga. I'm tell, no, I'm telling anybody who watches. Oh, I tamed a Giga while we were off. It wasn't incredibly high level, but I still tamed one, and there it is. Um, Hello, Ninja Killer! Sorry. <laughs> unfortunately, my Terra sacrificed its life. Okay. Sacrificed its life for the cause. When I got back, I went on a meat run to start taking care of baby dinosaurs. And I left Meep's Terra on the ground right next to the our, our attack Rexes. When I got back, a pack of terror birds had murdered Xerox, and the Rexes were just looking around like, not my problem. <laughs> they, they had some beef. Not, they were beefing. They did not care. <laughs> Love the animated face thing. Oh, you mean my avatar? Yeah, that's a that's a PNG tuber or a VTuber, I guess is a simpler way of saying it. But technically, PNG tuber, based off uh, one of my characters. <laughs> it's a gift tuber. <laughs> no, well, no, actually, no, because it's made up of four frames, but not yeah, true. not actively animated. It's it's the program switching the frames. Which, it's really cool. And if you have, if you guys need. To know some of the resources I use for streaming, please don't be afraid to ask me. It does not bother me at all. There is no Neither. gatekeeping in streaming. It's just fun to play games. So you completely cut out Drake, so I have no idea what you were trying to say. Can you hear me now? Yes. You need to get a 3D model of Psyka, and then you can be a real VTuber. <laughs> I considered it, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to make like my own actual avatar. I don't know. Still, still in the planning phases of that. There's a yellow drop over there. And how much you want about it? It's going to be in the ground. Listen, I will. I will give it a. Hey, feel I will free give to it check. A, a, a check. Probably in the ground. It's. It's. I. I don't know, honestly. Kind of. <laughs> I don't know how to describe Nope, this. not accessible. It is literally like the tippy tip is in the ground. The tippy tippy tip of it. I am sad. Alright, All right. well, let's keep going. I don't know where I'm flying. Um, just fly full east. 
If you look on the map, it's kind of just... At I know where I am now. <laughs> it's right about in between 40 and 50. By that yeah, I, I remember where it's at. I was just like, I was like, I don't know where I'm at oh. <laughs> in my immediate vicinity. But <laughs> I figured it out. East? I thought you meant we. What do I use <laughs> so that <laughs> so that I can become as awesome as you? Uh, first off, Ninja, you're already as awesome as me. You're an awesome friend. And that's all I ever ask of people. Well, the people. first step is murder any and all monsters that you see in your vicinity. Listen, that's listen. The first step. The just, second step just is because be able I... to sneak up behind your friends <laughs> and ambush them. <laughs> even if they have anxiety issues, okay? Listen, listen. I don't think they want to listen. Just because, because they know I'm right. Just because... <laughs> I am an amazing huntress. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm a bad friend. <laughs> uh, but uh, all jokes aside, uh, I use Viato Two for the PNG Tuber. So basically, you load up all the different states of your character into the slots. They're all labeled very nicely. Um, so this character has technically four states. I'm on the neutral expression right now, and that has four panels to it, and that includes the closed mouth, open mouth, closed eye with closed mouth, and open mouth with closed eye, um, which is just how it blinks. It's really cool how it works. And then it doesn't need cameras to track your face. It doesn't need any of that. It just needs the voice. So as long as your mic is working and it's correctly configured, you can Meeps. you can have a really animated avatar. Meeps, I found the ascendant crossbow. It's in this it's uh, it's in this box. <laughs> Look at that! It worked out. I'm not gonna pick it up right now, but it's there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, just pod the Terra and put them on um, put them on calamity for now, just so anything that might appear while we're down in there doesn't. Um. As far as streaming as far as streaming program goes, I use OBS. I don't use Streamlabs OBS. I actually started on Streamlabs OBS, fun fact right there, but I I use uh, regular OBS. Streamlabs is basically more of a user-friendly OBS in, in the sense that you have more resources helping you figure out what does what. It is a little more restrictive as well as a result though, because um, there are certain functions that OBS has natively that are just kind of blocked off by Streamlabs. Um, but it's literally been years since I used Streamlabs, so please take my words with a grain of salt. If you're comfortable with Streamlabs, stepping into OBS shouldn't be that much harder. And there's tons of plugins to use on OBS. Um, and you can uh, add custom ingests to any other streaming site you might use if it's not Twitch, if it's something else. Uh, it's really, really just customizable, amazing piece of free software. Can't really say enough good things about it, honestly. It can be finicky if you're transferring profiles, but aside from that, I, I'm honestly pretty happy with it. As far as lefterist goes, lefty right there sitting next to me, if you feed him channel points, he'll read whatever your message is, you know, display nice. But um, lefty is operated by a bot called Biku Bot. Um, really fun, really simple to set up. Very helpful, can be used for moderation as well. It's really cool. But I'm use I use it for the oop. I forgot to I forgot to yeah. Calamity's doing a great job. You got this calamity, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, good job. Why why are you on passive? <laughs> but uh Bikubot, really helpful little bot to have, and it's and it's in current development, so it's being maintained, which is nice. And then, as far as video editing goes, I don't do a whole lot of it. I generally just transfer directly from Twitch onto YouTube, just as a general archive. But, as far as video editing goes, I currently use Premiere Pro, but I'm trying to move into DaVinci Resolve, and we do have a goal set up on Kofi for that so if you guys ever want to drop in a little support I appreciate it it's not necessary but I appreciate it but if you do I do have a Kofi you can head over to and uh, drop buy me a cookie did so, you say Davinci? 
Da Vinci. Da Vinci Resort. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, yes. The flippers and the goggles. Okay, I, I'm not entirely sure the night vision goggles will be needed inside the cave, but I have them just in case. Um, you'll probably want to turn off for harvest settings, set it to disable resource harvesting. Fair. Because there's gonna be a lot of a lot of weight. Just Do you have a mail on right now? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Venus and Terra are the only females. Unfortunately, so it's like, yeah. Don't let her die. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can, I'm we not gonna make, try to make... kill her. Yeah, yes. Yeah, you know. <laughs> do your best. If it looks like a situation that you need to run, you know, let me. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, these things are fast with the imprint bones. I love how he goes, Wee, ooh, that just freaking flashbanged me. Yeah, it's it's pretty, it's it's pretty bright in here for some reason. Oh, I mean, it's a cave, so. Yeah. I imagine they're not gonna make all caves as annoying as the one. We went through where I totally knew we had to grapple somewhere, and I was right! I just didn't remember where. Here they come. Oh, have they not gone much in? Uh, they might be further in. No, this whole area was like just covered in. No, I I, I understand what you meant. I'm here. just saying they might they might the whole collection of them might be further in. I'm sorry, are there piranhas down here. Yes. Hello, donkeys. We can probably ignore the donkeys. Well, if we go further up, maybe. But it's like I want to be remain low enough that I. Well, the we're gonna need to go to like a higher point to get to the artifact, if I remember correctly. I have gone through like when I was curious about how it works, and it was very terrifying. But there is like a tunnel area where the uh... oh that oh. oh yeah they are the... ripping them up yeah. There's gonna be a bright, shiny area, basically, where the- Yeah, but I mean, right now, the... I just wanna make sure that if there are, like, drops or something on the floor, that we can see, you know? Do they not spawn in at a certain distance, or...? Um... Let... I thought they were pretty visible for... A distance. Well, I haven't gotten far Oh, I see a drop from here! And it's it's oh. down the lower left. Okay. Okay. First, you know, make sure there's no eruptids. Take care of those. Because <laughs> they're all over the place. We... Oh, there's some piranhas. If you want to come over here by me, grab it. Oh, there's a megalodons. Well, in a moment. Let's all put all the mask on the guy first. Yeah, this is much better than just going to I don't think there's any, uh... I don't think there's any notes down here, are there? Hope not. There might be, but I'm hoping that if there are, they'll be very noticeable. There's another Meg coming. There's another Meg going. The thing that has me nervous is those donkeys up. back there. Um, you take care of the... The, the donks should just keep the distance from them, they'll be fine. 
Why am I getting shoved around? Um, it's, once again, I told you how it was kind of like, uh, buggy. Yeah? That's just a noticeable issue that they need to fix, where it's just like, it feels just like you're Tokyo drifting all of the time. Hey. If, if you keep going straight long enough, it should be fine. I think we're clear, if you hurry. Wait, are you telling me to go get it? I thought you were gonna grab oh. it. Oh, okay. nope! There's a megalodon! Hi, Meg. <laughs> okay, I'll move it. You're like right there, so... Anything good in there? Uh, what is this? Packy rhinoceros saddle, I'm not kidding. Ah, yes, we'll definitely use that. Uh, ascendant flak leg. Oh, nice. Delicious. Uh, why don't we check up here on this shelf? E. Oh, just, the donkeys. Just... Leave you alone. Although... Yeah, they seem to be vibing pretty good. Yeah, I they see a sea scorpion aggro. that's not vibing as much, but <laughs> it's okay. Uh, okay. one sec. If we go up here towards the right, I believe, is the way to the artifact. Oh, here come a bunch of megalos. Hey, buddies. Yeah, why don't you just come at us one at a time? Yeah, nice. Bruce Willis isn't here. Sorry, not Bruce Willis. <laughs> Jason Statham. I don't know why I keep getting them mixed up. Oh, I'm even more. Alright, down this hole. Yeah, hold on, there's megalodons. No Meg unturn. <laughs> what are you turning them into zombies? Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> just looking in the distance. Just like the draw the render is just like more slowly. Here they dirty. come. Very slowly. I feel like Megalodons will just track you from five miles away. But it's like that meme. One oh, coming out of the hole to the kind. It's like a, a shark and a diver, and the diver just like grabs it by the front, and just turns it upside down. This is where we might find Alpha Mosas, so be careful. Oh, there's a there's a lot this of stuff is, in here. This oh is kind god, of close to what we're probably going to have to engage the dogs. I'm being I'm being scooped away from you. No. <laughs> Piranha looking for for battle over here. Okay. Hi, Maggie Meg. Dark. It is eerily dark down here. So funny that Darius. Like, yeah, like right here, it looks like there might be a, uh, a note somewhere. It's just like the uh, oh, why? Why are you back? 
I kind of got like stuck in place and I was trying to move and uh, well it didn't work but I'm moving now so see it does look like there'd be a note down here there might be who knows let's look, keep an eye out oh right there there's a chest and it's open Yay! And I'll have to continue to talk over this because I cannot have this on my screen. It will literally make my audio for it and I can't dispute it because it'll just stay copyright claim. It's just the fun of DMCA. Did I see what now? I don't see anything. No, just grab it. It turns out this is I'm gonna try to grab one as well. Hopefully this is one of the ones that respawns quickly. Yeah. And then, as it, uh, seems, as it seems, it's fairly easy to get down with our bed. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem that bad. We don't need a whole pod, which is nice. Well, I was mostly just judging by the first engagement that I had. I was like, maybe I did The first time I did this on official was the most terrifying thing. It's also where I lost my Tuso. But I literally cannot... You brought, you brought a Tuso in here? Not in here. Not in, like, this portion. I didn't even make it through the entrance. You mad lad. It just got murdered. And, uh... And honestly, like... I much prefer Basilosaurus to Tussos. <laughs> much prefer them. Basils are just such good tames. They're good boys. They're good tames, I, Brent. I prefer, I, pref I prefer them over Moses, too. Yeah. Like, they're immune to Tussos, they're immune to Zunidaria, they have a shit- sorry. <laughs> they have a crap ton of HP. Great, decent attack. They're just all around great games. Mm -hmm. Come on, Artifact. Respawn. I feel like this would be a perfect area to have a, a, a loot crate, but that's fine. I feel like there's another note down here somewhere. I don't trust it. Because the actual cave is much larger than this. Mm -hmm. We'll keep looking. As far as I can tell, this is a much better place to find deep sea crates than just randomly hoping that you find them on the ocean floor in a couple of <laughs> in a couple of predetermined spots, you know? Because it's like <laughs> it's just completely random if they're there or not or somewhere else. <clears throat> well, I guess it's not respawning. It'll probably respawn it. I think it takes like five minutes. We can come back to it. Yep. Let's keep looking. Like, we know where this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Needed some fish meat. <clears throat> God, donkey. No, not the donkey. I'm glad they didn't make donkeys level 300. Oh jeez, that take forever. <laughs> they're, they're tanky. You know, in Genesis, donkeys are actually very, oh. very helpful. Oh. Ooh, it looks like a yellow one. Oh, look out! I'm not, I'm not off. Oh, okay. 
It's hard to tell sometimes, legitimately. There's a Megalodon coming. Yeah, I see it along with other things. What is that in the floor? It's another Megalodon! <laughs> what? You see that outside the map? What? Yes, it was a land shark! I am just Tokyo drifting everywhere, don't mind me. Yeah. As as I'm scooped away. It feels like to, to, to stop that you have to like go in a straight line for a little bit. Oh god, oh my god, these are upset. Oh no. Please <laughs> don't get cool. That was a 240 donkey. Oh, here comes another. Uh, no, it's <laughs> just about as there's anything else. We, we pissed off the hive. Uh, there's no there. <laughs> the sea scorpion. We all know what sea scorpions feel like. You want to grab this crate? Sure. Keep it out. Rex saddle! Rex saddle! What percent? Oh, a big chunky one. Ooh, nice. I like it. One seventy one. Like nice. <laughs> That's just what we needed. Where's that? Oh, there it is. There we go. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? I'm just going to assume because there's uh hostile creatures in this direction, that this is the direction we can go. <laughs> to keep going uh, deeper. Yeah, yeah. It is. Otherwise we would have gone left instead. We'll just leave those uh, Snidaria there as like a marker. Yeah, this is the way we can come back. <laughs> yeah, don't trust me for directions. We've all learned that one the hard way. Oh, that's a big, chonky group. Still no Alpha Mosas or Alpha Tusos. There might be in here down. Oh god. Oh no, I'm being scooped away from you again. level 36 and then some others of these are level 300. The cave can't make up its mind, I guess. look both ways before crossing the street and grabbing <laughs> loot crates on the seafloor. <laughs> oh, that anglerfish scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Came out the corner. Drop. Uh, green caprasuchus. Nice. Because we definitely use those. An ascendant might <laughs> I used to love running a mana through aberration because if you jump down you know into what? the river, so oh, yeah, many here. fish would die. I decided that I was going to make you a problem now. Instead of later. You know. 
you know, recent studies or recent theories about the Dunkleosteus uh, posit that they were actually much smaller than we originally yeah. thought. I think I, I, I think. Ooh, what is this? I don't know. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Oh. You know, I'm not going. It's interesting, I mean, but unfortunately, we're, we're not exploring this. Yeah, <laughs> we do not have the tames for this, but it is looks fascinating. Exciting. Yeah, looks exciting. It does. And it looks promising. There's probably explorers notes here. <laughs> that's gonna. That's that. Yeah. We're gonna have to come back. Aren't we? Yeah, we are. Oh the well. Next expedition for another time. <laughs> Let's get this Rex saddle BP out of here. Ooh, I wonder how much, how long this uh, surface goes. What is this? Uh huh. An explorer note. Where is it at? Nidaria on the. It's for Nidaria. It's uh, it's right. Where? It's where me behind you. It has behind you. Types of jellyfish. Go away, anglerfish. It possesses the size and shape <laughs> of the large egg you. yolk jellies, the powerful sting of certain bugs. Oh, there is a little arch here. And the bioluminescence mm -hmm. of deep sea jellies. <laughs> this all combines. I was like, this looks suspicious. That lights up the deepest creatures in the ocean. Nidaria is not generally aggressive because it lacks normal perceptive senses. It generally just floats along on the current until something gets close enough to sense, at which point it attacks. While its attacks are not directly felt, its sting injects an incredibly strong and fast-acting sedative. As Nidaria is barely more intelligent than a plant, there's no effective method to take it. Most tribes kill Nidaria on sight, then collect its reserve of powerful sedative to use in technically advanced or uh, can go back. Oh, hello, Megalodon. I got it. Go back to that effect, yeah. Oh, right, the artifact. I forgot. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Welcome to Ark, where nothing quite makes sense, but it's there anyways. I love how the donkeys just don't care that you're there. Classic donkey Oscars. I see the artifact. I'm gonna try to nab it. Let me check real quick. Days of the Saurus has a level up. Cool. Just kidding, he has four levels up. Alright, got the artifact. Let's go. I'm going. I'm going. Oh! Carno bone costume. Too bad we don't have any carno. So glad I'm not claustrophobic. So I feel like I'll claustrophobic honest, people yeah. would, would yeah, not be. Some of these caves are very bad for that. <laughs> to the right, to the right, everything you own on a vessel to the right. Alright, let's go. Hey, that's an Alpha Meg! Too bad there's not an Alpha Mosa! Oh god, that's so much lightning. That is so much lightning. Bro, my health is dropping so fast. What 
you at? Uh, uh two thirds. <laughs> but considering I was nearly full before, that was spooky. <laughs> Yeah, I guess all the uh, front end dinos finally respawned. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're mostly through there. Um, I don't know if there is. I imagine there might be like higher huh? loot crate or something. Sometimes in some of the caves, like on ledges higher up, you can respawn. You know. Mm. I don't know. I'm sure there's. Cool. I'm sure there's more loot crates in that cave we saw. Yeah, overall that was a successful spelunking. That was freaking phenomenal. We got we got a wreck saddle on the first go. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Alright, baby, that's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> it literally couldn't have been better, honestly. We got the artifact and the wreck saddle. Let's see if anything is small. Nothing has spawned. Dawn. Good job, Venus. What a good bean. Jesus. <laughs> that was a really good marketing campaign. You have to give it to him. Hashtag you have ad. to give it to him. Ha hashtag ad. <laughs> you know, somebody was uh, telling me, I, I don't even know what it was, but I was like, oh either having God, headaches so or anxieties or something, and so was, many Keith. And they're just like, oh, you need to, you need to apply, you know, this this certain thing to to your forehead. Just paste it directly onto your forehead. And I, all I could think of was the old head-on ads. <laughs> Apply directly to the forehead. Oh, hey, I got a spyglass. Oh my god. Saturn's rate of health health healing is fantastic. Yeah, Basil's regen pretty fast. It's like 10 a, 20 a second. It's great. It's fantastic. I love it. It's, it's my favorite buff of the Basilosaurus. If you're ever having a bad time, just go to the surface. Basilosaurus will fix it. Oh, do they only heal like that when they're on the surface? So when they're close, when in it, when they're in the shallows, they get a healing buff. So they just start oh, okay. automatically regenerating. I know that they have a they they take damage when they're in water, but. Mm-hmm. They also provide insulation. So combine that with the. Uh... The underwater pants that we have taking no damage <laughs> um do you want to go and check with the other cave on the other side of the island uh is there another underwater cave we gotta do i think so there's two um there's the cave of lost hope and there's the cave of some I... Caverns of Lost Faith, and this one is Caverns of Lost Hope. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could check it out. That's the one all the way on the west side of the island, right? I'll be honest, it looks incredibly straightforward. And it has three notes, it looks like. If it's the one I'm thinking about, which I have been through. It might be the one with the the, the big boys. Okay. It might, it, yeah, I might have been through that one before. It looks, I, it looks very straightforward and very open. Does it have land portions? Because if so, we need very it, it, look, it, it looks like it. Like, it has a couple portions. Okay.
Caverns of Lost Hope, extreme quantities of Mosasaurs, Plesiosaur, Tusatuthus, and other dangerous aquatic creatures. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> None of those were there. <laughs> Okay, there are two more there are two more explorer notes in that land portion. Oh, you mean the one we just did? Yes. Oh. That's okay, we can come back with Baryonyx. <laughs> Exomech is a good choice since nothing will aggro. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I sure wish I had an exomech right about Shad now. Shad Shadow Man can go invisible, allowing you to navigate the cave unsa- Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Great suggestion. Ooh. Ooh. The only loot crates found to date were in the submerged cavern, leaving the cave at the end undesirable to explore once the explorer notes had been collected. Hmm. So they just added notes there, I guess? Venus's HP. Thirty-nine thousand out of fifty-one. Okay. Um. Let's let her I'm gonna heal need, a little bit. I'm gonna need to fly back to the. Yeah. Go ahead. Base. We need to drop off that. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, we're, it's, it's on the way, anyways. We'll let them heal a bit. We can pop them out at the water there, and just yeah. let them chill out for a moment. Also, yet again, the scuba, nat scuba mask is the most useless piece of equipment. It literally does nothing in this. I don't know if that's because of the light settings, but it's like, nothing changes when you put it on. <laughs> I'm sure they'll figure out the balancing for it someday. To rest a moment. It has it has been observed that the cave spawns with far more enemies than normal, making the first clear vastly more difficult than subsequent attempts. Are you talking about the one we just did or the one we're going um, to? That's the one that we're going to, though okay. I imagine that it would be it might be like similar between them, you know? Mm.
we might even have to come back and try it again after a bit. Because it might just be, like, far too difficult. I don't think it'll be too hard. As long as we stick together and use the power of friendship. <laughs> or in the case of the Besosaurus, the power of horniness. Compared to the Caverns of Lost Hope, whose primary incentive is loot crates and not much else, the Caverns of Lost Faith perhaps features perhaps the Den... And collection of silica pearls with few hostile creatures. Ah, well, you know. <laughs> I pride myself on cutting out. Cut it out. Might be dating myself with that reference. Just a little bit. What? <laughs> One of the dangers is the frequency of high level saber tooth salmon. <laughs> what? <laughs> They have a bite. What? They have a bite that. Um, no, I know they I don't can think bite. It's a, <laughs> no, I don't think it's a bleed. I think it's a stamina drain. Can't remember, but they do have a bite that inflicts a condition, which I imagine is what they're referencing. It was just like one of the greater threats is the saber tooth salmon. What? <laughs> that salmon has it out for you, man. Fear the fish. That should be a sticker. Just like a saber tooth salmon jumping out the water and it just says fear the fish. Whee! Gotta love this rendering lag. Oh what, did you finally find the base? <laughs> yep, I always know when I'm close to home because my game will lock up like nothing else. Ah, comfort. probably fill this trough with meat so they can also eat and heal. Yeah. But I gotta finish leveling these uh, Rexes. Uh, let me put away this saddle BP. The greatest treasure to ever be treasured. The only way that run could have been better is if we encountered a Giga BP in the process. Or a card chart BP for that matter. Someday. Someday. By the way, that card chart is still in the trap. <laughs> is it still there? <laughs> it's still stuck there. So if you want to go and look at it, you know. <laughs> I mean, I I'm good for now, but uh, I'm glad to know it can't figure its way out the trap. <laughs> it won't de it won't de render out of the trap. It's stuck there forever. I will say, this heavy miner's helmet has 949 armor and 13 I mean, durability. Seems pretty useful to me. Guess who's gonna be wearing that to the boss <laughs> fight? Oh god. You wearing a flak helmet? Nope. <laughs> I'm wearing my good old miner's hat. So we'll be back in the mud. <laughs> I yearn for the mines. I read Atalanta's name as Atlanta. <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, ah, represent. <laughs> oh, 
They are all named after Greek mythological characters and heroes. Too many points in HP, but that's okay. I will say when we when it gets time to go to aberration, mm. um, <clears throat> if it'd be possible to turn on uh, allow foreign dinos. Not that we're going to use them, but I'd like to bring all of the dinos that we can't take to Aberration with us, just to have, so we don't have to like go back to Scorched Earth or something to get them, you know? So it's like if we're taking two basils or something with us. I mean, not that we can use them up. I mean, I, I think it would work, I think it work either way as, as, uh... My brain shut down for a minute there. Um, I think you, it would be the way as just up. starting over, but I'm almost sure you can bring the crowds, you just can't use them. Oh, we can trash them. Either way, I'm not going to be too bothered. By the time we leave Aberration, we'll probably have better dinos. So. Like, we'll be headed to extinction. And thus... Yeah, I'm sure it's like, when are we going to use basils? But it's like, you know... Eventually, I'd like to settle us on it. Like, I want, I want my bases. Don't worry, I, I mean, worst case scenario, I keep the save file, and then we can just come back to it once we're done with the story. But, um, I definitely think we'll be have a better time finding and taming Gigas and Karchars on Scorched Earth. Is Probably. That it's not going to be, they're not going to be spawning just on mountains. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. so. uh. Oh, I don't think Giga spawns on Scorched Earth. Doesn't look like they spawn on scor scorched earth. I imagine because they're freaking huge and scorched earth is a barren wasteland. Ooh. Now we need to fill these troughs. Because if not, they're gonna starve to death just trying to heal themselves. Back, kiddos, when you level your dinos, especially in HP, make sure they have food. Because as they as they heal, they will use up their food stat faster. Therefore, they need lots of food to heal up after the rampant training you just put them through. Okay, so it looks like we'll have to bring our own gigas from the island for Scorched Earth. They would be useful to have. We'll find As gigas are. It'll be interesting to move from starting uh, over on Aberration to Extinction, because there will actually be a reason to go through and comb through the animals in the city, which will be really cool.
The only I times I ever part. got to be around Extinction, really, when I when I started playing Ark, was when people were doing drops and basically nothing mattered except circling the drop zones and finding stuff. So it's pretty fun to I me mean, to have it matter. Oh, again. I, I still definitely want to do that, but you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Drops are fun. I like I like the horde mode. It's just it's just nice to have more to do than just that, you know? Also, Gigas and Karchars spawn much more frequently on Extinction than other maps. Specifically around the ice biome, like this little ring around it that they spawn. Mm-hmm. So uh, That's where we're going to find good ones. <laughs> I think I think I leveled all the Rexes. I think I Okay, there's that, there's still a... Uh, the, the cryo fridge still has all the males in it, so. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, they can stay in there for a bit. I could level those guys later. Yeah. These guys. Oh, I missed one. If you have anything that's saddled that can get some meat, yeah, it'd be I'm very going beneficial. On. Um, what level are you, by the way? Uh, I have to level up, but I'll check in just a second. Uh, okay, uh, let me just double check before I lose track of myself. Here. Let's see. Yes, yes. Yes. I know you're done. Chomp Master. Yes. Okay. Okay. They're good. Uh, let me check my level. I am now... Level 97. Um, can you craft a Giga Saddle at that level? I think you can. Let me see. Yep, just have to learn it. Okay. Would you Got mind? It. Uh, sure. And pull out the uh, Giga that's in Cryo. Give it a couple of levels. Eastern mountain, they spawn all the way directly on top of the mountain. So it's like, it's the perfect spot where nothing aggros them, <laughs> and they'll just sit there until you lure them. Oh, I, for I didn't even realize I got this flak armor. It's 936 armor. You what? <laughs> yep, ascended flag chest that, piece. That actually reminds me. That's probably going to be the quality that we'll get if, if we put all of our points into crafting. <laughs> oh goodness. So, with that in mind though, we have two pieces of flak BBs. I can use... I can use this flak armor when we go to the... When we go to the... Frick, my brain ain't working. Ice cave. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's pencil it. Well, we have uh, fur chest pieces. Uh, you have, fur chest. You have good fur, fur chest pieces? A BP. Oh. So we can craft them. And that is... Okay, I need more oh. fiber and some metal ingots. Let's see here. Found the metal um, ingots. Sweet. And I found a little bit of extra fiber here, so I'm gonna yoink it.
Did you fall? No, I'm good. All of a sudden, I just ah. Yep. I make noises. How is stupid? Time for the oh, biggest oh, of oh, boys. Oh, 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 um, go to the, go to the, uh, ooh, setting out. Yeah, definitely keep them within range of the trough because they could starve fast. Yeah, they do. Hungry boys. Um, he's just staring at me. <laughs> also, this thing just did not want to go down. Yeah, they do that. Took way more uh, darts than it listed. I want to make another Baryonyx Ascendant Saddle. Look at this big chonker! <laughs> I love going up to Red Drops on uh, Extinction and everybody's just roaring with their gigas. <laughs> good times, good times. It's just a shouting fest. Alright, what were we doing next? Alright, we were getting meat and then uh, I got I put some meat in there. Could always use more later. What else? You were saying something before the Giga came out and I don't remember what it was. Um oh. I should not have jumped down. Why did I do that? Oh, my bad. We have three pieces of flak BP. Oh, nice. Actually, we have the leggings, helmet, and boots. I thought the we had the chest The sun is setting. Beat. Okay, what do we need? A lot of metal ingots, a lot of hide, a lot of fight. It's so sad that this what Giga is, is so weak <laughs> that it does less damage than a Rex. He's trying, okay. <laughs> he really is. I'll give it to him. He really, really is. <laughs> he does his best. Yeah, let me cry on him again. As far as HP goes, he's pretty good, though. For breeding, I mean, because he's starting at 17k. Now to sit here for a couple of minutes and just pull hide out of this. Time to try and whistle the heckin' Pteranodon down, because me, the genius that I am, just jumped down assuming I'd be able to easily get back up for some reason. Isn't your Terra down there? No, I jumped off. <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to say I jumped down. <laughs> oh. Is there anything on it? Uh, nope. One sec. Oh, it's following you. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is not the first time I've had to do this, unsurprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> no, believe it or not, I tried setting up a rope ladder here on one of the edges, and it set up the rope ladder so it was on the inside, so you just hit your head on the stone ceiling and can't get up. <laughs> and I've I think fallen, over here, and I can't get up. I think I set this trap door here because I wanted to try doing the same thing over here, maybe. But it's just like I never got around to it. So maybe it'll work. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Oops. Oh. Sit down. <laughs> Sit your ass down. 
Alright, I think the only artifact we're missing is the one in Ice Cave now. A lot more fiber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's double check. Is that all the artifacts? No, there's one from the uh, Cave of Lost uh, Faith or Hope. Oh, so the one we're going to has an artifact? Yes. I see. I think there's ten total. Uh, Dragon needs four. Uh, and Broodmother and Gigantopithecus. Yeah, so it, so we have eight right now, which means Ice Cave and the cave we're going to are the only two left we need to get. This is all, of course, assuming that we beat this in one go. It should be interesting, to say the least. Suffice to say, we're probably going to need to be uh, searching the seafloor for more blueprints. Just, just a little bit of farming. Off camera for your benefit, though. have a bunch of oh I know I know I'm gonna put this back in here and I'm gonna head up ooh hi have you seen the pteranodon <laughs> Is there a pteranodon set down up there? No, he's just... He's just... Hovering, I guess is the best word for it. Like, Vuln is just standing there, and then the pteranodon next to him is just like... T-posing. I believe I can fly! T-posing, yes. I don't think he's T-posing, I think he's just permanently falling. Oh no, I'm hungry. Let me just shove 20 lemons down my throat. Can I say I really like citrus? Oh, I thought I had more trophies than this, but I guess not. Oh, did we forget the uh, crossbow? Sad. It's okay. We have to go back anyways, remember? Not that way. Yes, there's, there's, there's four notes from her. Well, oh, yeah, that's fair. Eventually. Uh, <laughs> eventually, yeah. Alright, I guess I'll fetch a baryonyx, because I don't have any other imprinted baryonyxes. Grab... Do I have Lancer? I think Lancer might still be in the Uh, the tragic story of the Baryonyx brothers <laughs> and the and the ill-fated visit to the lava cave. Rip Cavalier. <laughs> His brothers came to help, but alas, they could. Seriously, I wasted like twelve uh, harpoon grapple hooks trying to get your body back, but I couldn't. <laughs> it's all good. If there's one thing I've learned from playing Ark is that ultimately everything is replaceable. Yeah. Even if it doesn't even if it doesn't feel like it. Grapple hooks replace pretty much immediately, so I could have gotten <laughs> out just fine. And that whole <laughs> that whole subplot last time of just hanging on the ceiling. Did it need to happen? 
Yeah, I could have just broken it and immediately shot a little bit further away to safety. Man, imagine seeing this many stars. I know there's certain places on Earth that you can see the Milky Way, but they're they're almost all gone, I think. I think there was like a study recently about light pollution and how there's no area untouched by it anymore, or something like that. Just sad, but... There are places in Florida that have little to no light pollution. I wouldn't say that level of seeing the sky, but you know. Yeah. Oh. The night sounds are uh, very relaxing. Can you throw a Dragoon, please? Dragoon? Do you not have the Baryonics? I do not. No. Oh. I know there's I like three them. in the water down there. They're kind of like off to the corner of the water. <laughs> Thought I saw something called Dragoon down there, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Dragoon Dr might be down. Let's go see. Let's find out. One, two, three. <laughs> Mr. Owl. Oh. Yes, I walked into the water. Hey, Dragoon, <laughs> I, got some, I got something for you. Got some new threads. I hope you'll like them. Let's see how Venus is doing. I can't see anything. <laughs> Me neither. It's just a pitch black screen and green names. Just like, yeah, this is roughly the right area. <laughs> Venus is at 47,000 out of 51. That's fine. Yeah. <sighs> Tell you, man, that shallow water buff. Can't beat it. <laughs> they make such funky noises. Do you have everything? I on have you? some lemons, two vessels, flippers, pants, scuba tanks. Ah, oh, yes, lemons. And that's All it. Alright, let's, let's get going. Ah, yes, flying into the night. Now clouded with storm clouds. You literally cannot see the sky right now. Okay, I got night vision goggles. Me too. 
Alright, let's blow this popsicle stand. Where are you going? West. That's not west. That's south. That's about... Eh, it's close enough to west. <laughs> I saw a red obby and I was like, that's the direction I need to go. <laughs> Hopefully we get some good loot out of this one too. <clears throat> Would be nice. Ooh, that does raise a good wonder if it's going to be like super cold in the underground port on the land portion. All in all we just can't spend too much land time on land if that's the case. I mean, that's fine. Just do a big smash and grab. I need to rest. I don't know where you went. I think I s unless that's just a uh, Yeah, I bus. saw you. Okay. You're gonna swim from here? Yeah. We're just taking the pterandons with us this time. My turn, I don't have. Oh. Uh, Dragoon. I was like, it dropped a bag. Why did it drop a bag? Venus, where are you going? Venus! 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 Alvin! <laughs> you all kitted it out? Yes! Alright, let's go. Uh oh, I see. A bit more forward, I think. And it's gonna go down here. I think, we're, I think we're fairly long. close. Would it be down there? I'm pretty sure we're fairly close. I just don't remember. Oh, I found it. It's around the bend. Just keep going, like, north-ish. And, like, turn right. There's just a couple of plesiosaurs standing guard. possible drop will be on your right as soon as the cave turns. It's labeled Sunray. We haven't reached a turn yet. <laughs> We're going to now though. Yeah, there's like sun rays coming. Not see. Might be underground. Well, it might just not. There's there's probably 
There's multiple locations, not everyone is guaranteed though. Remember? Looks like there's... Let's go on the right fork. Another spot there. I can't reach these under my belly! If you can just keep an eye on my body, you know. That did happen before. Remember, I told you, like I grabbed a loot crate and just it just crashed. Well, luckily, there's nothing here that can go on land, though there are a couple of sharks that really wish they could. Yeah, just you know, keep an eye on me. That's all. Try. Look, he splits back. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we always have. A buddy. <laughs> you Always have, have your, your battle buddy. Do you have your caving buddy? Good. You just look like you're taking a really good nap right now. Yep. Without legs. Also, yep. It's a very enthusiastic sleep. It's the most solid of sleeps. Also, as soon as uh, the server pops up on the list, you can hit join last played session. So, as I've discovered. And it'll take you automatically to the option to log in. Accept. <laughs> the message just says, watch your back. I'm like, okay. There was a saddle BP. I don't know what it was. It was probably like Packy. Packy saddle or something stupid. Or Terror Bird. It might have been Terror Bird. <laughs> and a fabricated pistol. Ah, yes. The best of drops. I hear something special. I'm back. Welcome back. What do we got? Wait. Oh, never mind. It's a asteroid you saddle me. <laughs> what? You know, not, not bad, I guess, but... We don't... We aren't using asteroids here. We don't use those here. This is a bathtub, lady. Okay. Let's go. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, my thing broke. Your thing broke? Yeah! 
is good. Alright, let's go. Holy sh just just look really quick ahead. Look at all those look at all those trilobites. Um, really quick, I'm going to That is to, a lot of trilobites. I'm i I'm going to enable harvest settings. Enable heart resource harvesting. I'm going to nip The it. ammonites will be nice. Oh no, everything's going to attack us. Yes, 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 they were already attacking us. <laughs> Dawn. Well, I mean, oh god, look at all the salmon. Not the greatest threat. <laughs> Oop, there's another cave drop. Did you take the. Do you have the ammonite. Uh, ammonite cloud blood? On you? Uh, yeah, do you have that I... on you? Or is it just me? Should be a little pair of eyes in the bottom right. I do not have ammonite blood. Oh, Melta! Oh, I do have ammonite vial. I have 34 vial. What level oh! Is it's probably too high, but. Get him! Oh, it's 360 for the end. That's what I thought! Bro thought he found an easy snack. Okay, um... Um, any number of things, really. So much fish. I'm like waiting by this drop here. While the Nidaria slowly makes its way over. Alright, I'm gonna move ahead a little bit. Screen. Okay. I'm gonna Not scoop seeing it. anything. Oh, yeah, all, you have, all you have to worry about is a saber tooth salmon. I got an ascendant spinal saddle, but not the BP, unfortunately. Oh, that's fine. I did get a BP for a diplodica saddle, though. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, is there a note here? There is a note here. Sweet. Beat up the smith. <laughs> I am right up behind you. Ooh, gotta pop the uh, night vision on for this. Oh god. Can't see shit. Okay, there's, there's a set of stairs right in front of us. Explore. What is all this in here? I decided to seek out Ah, yes, more rock wall notes. Really, I highly tribes. recommend you guys just look up I these notes surely and listen they would to them because they are really awesome. I patiently moderated so many of their frivolous I don't have enough to disputes. talk over this, so I'm just gonna oh, let it play out. You did audio, be damned. Yet another favor to ask. Apparently. Oh, I should take it's behavior rather aggressive. No one successfully negotiated me down. So naturally, they have turned to me. It's rather bothersome, but I can't touch their logic. If Sir Edmund Rockwell cannot reason with this Nerva fellow, who can? to get rid of the extra meat, so I missed out on the ammonite file, but that's okay. I got plenty. I forget what it's even used for, honestly. Uh, pheromone darts. Uh... I don't know if there's anything else. There's... Surely there has to be. <laughs> I doubt it, but... Oh, pheromone darts. Oh. Everything is angry. 
Yeah, I'll be honest, this is a really nice cave. <laughs> like, this is very interesting. You can just come in here with, like, one basil and then the second basil in the pot. And, you know, just... Hey, I get it. I get it. I angered the gods. This cave can't decide between being really dark or being bright. Ah, yes, Gaius Nova. Gaius Marcellus Nova. He's got a cool name. That's a teal dealer. You can come over here where I am, too. Can I? Can I? Ah, here we go. Nope. Stuck under. There we go. I am hopping on this because I still do not trust these gays. I mean, I, mean, I don't expect fair? there to be anything overly dangerous, but you know, I'm not having chances. Because we saw that the other cave had a. Uh... Yeah, but I feel like the threats on that cave made themselves very immediately apparent. God, I can't see anything. Jeez. Makes three. And there's... Ah, the vampire squid. Approximately nine meters long, is a terror of the deep. It looks like it's just the three. Prey, it slowly crushes. Uh, I see the artifact. I also see a lot of yeah. freaking sharks. Yeah, you can go ahead and go back to the. Uh... Thing. I'm gonna run along this ledge here. Apparently, there's another possible. renders its victim unconscious. Great. So death isn't the only concern. Secondly, its vampiric blood drain instantly revitalizes it, even during combat. Finally, if Tuso Tuthis is losing the fight, it sprays a cloud of ink into the surrounding water, blinding its attackers. Normal ink, Tuso Tuthis ink is very oily and can even be refined into fuels mm. such as gasoline. Between that and Tuso Tuthis distinct capability to grab and carry large creatures underwater, it makes for an excellent aquatic tame. Despite so, yeah, its as it turns speed. out, there are no tames here, or no land dimos. So yeah. it's perfectly safe just to come in with just the base. It's the water you have to fear. Honestly, even then, it's not very scary. Okay, so around the artifact, it looks like there's three possible uh, great spots. There's a Mosa. <gasps> Not the Mosa. Let's kill it. Let's beat it up. Yeah, I don't. They might be stuck because they can only swim forward. Yeah, sometimes uh, there was. Oh. There it is. Turn around. There was the. 
cave on uh, Crystal Isles, and there was a mouse that just stuck in the wall, and the friends tamed it out because it couldn't move. He just like had a, a dark gun, he just like pummeled. Oh my goodness. Stop numing everywhere. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> Just keep coming, why? They won't go away. They're just so angry. <laughs> Salmon's got bone to pick with you. with you yet. Bloody. Oh, he's got so much help. We have more. <laughs> I'm almost doing 1k a hit. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, you thought you could run, huh? Oh, this is our house. This is our cave now. <laughs> oh god, that looks demented. This is a rubber banded away. <laughs> Alright, let me snag uh, this artifact. Get, uh, I got the oh. alpha too. Nice. And a hundred black pearls, nice. 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 And there's a loot crate down here. Also valid. Yes. Oh, you got it. What's on it? Alpha Pteranodon and Alpha Sark. What? Uh, BPs. Sorry. Alpha? Ah, uh, uh, God. Ascendant. Uh, Ascendant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, like... look the the trophy uh, respawn. Pick it up. Oop, that's yours. Vessel is yours. Come, Saturn. Be sweet. And now we leave. <laughs> Wait. We only found three notes. Yeah, I think there's only three. There's oh, one okay. on that ruin that we found, there's one on the ledge, and then one on the long path that we have to get off and run for. Fair enough. I'm just paranoid. At least that I saw here. Let me, let me double check. Maybe it doesn't show it on this map. I think there's only one through. Basil do 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 Oh hello Megalodon. Goodbye Megalodon. Look at the schools of Sabertooth Salmon just swimming peacefully now. All that's left to do is just farm, hide, and meddle and get these Rexes ready. 
and I guess a UD as well, but we don't have any good UD saddle VPs, and we probably won't have some for a while because of all the broken drops. Imagine having functional drops. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, bro. <laughs> Well, like for real though, Grove Street's doing a great job at this port. I mean, yeah. I've seen a lot worse ones, that's for sure. And, arguably, much quicker reaction times to bugs than Wildcard. <laughs> kind of. I mean, we're not playing on official, so... Yeah, it's like it still patches all the same, you know? Yeah, I think we've got everything from this cave. So bright out here! Sorry for everybody, I just flashbang. You need to stop doing I just keep forgetting that I have this ghost thing on. Something is attacking me. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think it's a little extra for us. And a megalodon. And another megalodon. And another megalodon. Okay, good. I have approached the shore. Why are you biting my basil while I'm trying to pot it? That is rude. Such rudeness cannot be tolerated. I'm gonna punch you. Go away. Go, go, go away. Yeah, you know. <laughs> just run up to the... <laughs> run up to the megs and just start punching them. <laughs> go away. Okay, yeah, just cry out. We're coming for you, look at Punch them. Alright. Not bad All loot right, overall, go. I think. I even managed to get a good deal of uh, Nidaria toxin. Although, to be fair, I have a lot of tra talk starts. Yeah, but already made up. I mean, we can no harm in having more. <laughs> I am kind of wondering what setting broke that it just automatically disables admin logging on all servers. I don't know. It's probably just a broken link somewhere. An extra comma or semicolon where it doesn't need to be. Yes, the spawning leg. I hold in my head cannon that the spawning leg of the, of rendering the base is what keeps the thylas away. Just pure. Well, oh no! Fair, it, might. it might because the proximity to the base. And the thylas are oh, allergic. Whee! Okay, I would say that's a successful trip. Yes. Yes, it was. And now we have are heading for the next go around, which is to finally take on the brood mother. You were just gonna completely ignore the ice cave. It's like, <laughs> oh right, we have to do that. I mean, we, we can try it. it. We can try it. We have to do that for brood mother. Oh no no no! The ice cave is for oh. dragon. But then, then we can ignore it. 
<laughs> we, we could, or we could just try it with two Rexes well. and very little equipment besides fur and hopes and prayers. Because I feel like I feel like with mate boost we're doing pretty good, all things considered. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Put you nerds back in the fridge. This stuff in here. Oh, I can't shove ammonite bile in the fridge? Yeah, I've realized that, so I just threw it in the uh, box. I was like, if we use it, we use it. If not, not <laughs> that big of a loss. I don't think we really use pheromone darts to begin with, so. I mean, it does sound useful, mate. Maybe we could use that for the cave, because it aggros, I think it aggros other dinosaurs to other dinosaurs, so they fight. Possible. So we might be able to, we might be able to distract all of the, uh, the angry... I, I think it'd be difficult, though, because ideally we just want to be out of reach in general, and Rexes don't allow you to use guns. We'll probably need Free Curry, too. Yes, we will need that. I don't remember how to make it, though. We'll figure it out. We can give it a shot. What? Where is this, uh... Where is this fur, BP? Uh, it's in, it should be in armor. It's in our carpet. Yeah, it's in armor. 316 armor and... 503... The yeah, I think with that we'll be okay. <laughs> and we can do the we can do the rest like uh, flat pieces. Three thousand pelt. Ooh. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, I mean it builds up easily enough. It's just like it's so heavy. Well, I mean, no time like the present to start gathering. Drop these in here. Drop this artifact over here. If we manage to get the ice cave artifact, which would be freaking awesome, we manage to get two of them. That'd be two trips to the dragon we wouldn't have to worry about. So if we fail the first one, we can have another go at it. Without having to brave that horrific cave again. I have ice cave trauma. Don't judge me. Who was judging? A friend of mine who knows exactly what I went through. <laughs> the first time I tried it. <laughs> it was so bad. But I, I will prevail this time. I will prevail. Tuck this in here. The other thing that we're going to need more of, megatheriums. You know what grows great with megatheriums? Megatherium saddles. I mean, we can yeah. do Listrix with just Rexes. That's not really a problem. The, the megatheriums just make it go faster, really. Okay. Yeah, the room other Listrix is not that hard. Even in Alpha. I've done her a dozen times. With like oh, ten rexes, it's it's not that hard. We'll just take rexes. Then. 
Yeah. Would be nice as a UD saddle, because we lose the UD in, in Dragon especially, we are screwed. But hopefully, hopefully, if we get, if we can actually get through a decent amount of the ice cave, we can find a drop, maybe, that maybe will bless us with a UD saddle. <laughs> maybe. Oh, and we'll definitely, I'm, I'm definitely going to hit those uh, water caves more times. You can count on that for sure. Because those are easy, high tier loot crates, you know. And we found a Rex saddle in one. Ooh. Yeah. Anyways, do you think this is a decent stopping point? Yeah, I think we could call it a night here, but I'm definitely, I want to go out that ice cave at some point, for sure. That'll be next time, yeah? Yeah, sure. We need to build <laughs> up the armor anyways. And and, and get the wreck saddles. Yeah. People and can watch our magnificent failures. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Here we will be successful. Or I say the Rexes will oh. be exemplary. Speaking of Rexes, you need to breed yourself some. I have Chomp Master. Do you not want one of the imprinted ones? A Chomp Master is imprinted. Oh, that's true. No, you're right. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Anyways, guys, we're going to continue our preparations onto our boss fight run, which is going to be chaotic as all get out. We'll probably take care of the bosses one day by one day. So I think earliest, we could probably tackle Broodmother as early as next week, honestly. Just get her out of the way. If you want, here's an idea. We could do two streams. Um, one getting prepared and then one doing Broodmother. And Broodmother can be like a shorter stream. Maybe? I don't know. Well, I mean, Broodmother isn't hard. It's pretty fast. So I think we could just take care of that early next week. And then we can go prepare for Ice Cave. Okay. Yeah. Seems fine by me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll go ahead and see you next week as our adventure continues. If you like my content, consider following me so that you can keep up with my additional adventures. Or check out my YouTube where you can find some of our past adventures going on over there. Be sure to come back if you're interested in seeing some Mech Warrior content, as we'll be having some more of that with Omega Sys tomorrow. But other than that, I hope you guys stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you in the next stream. Bye bye!